morning campers playing outdoors. Let's find a piece of wood. That might work. Decided I want to make myself something, do some wood carving again. And what I'm thinking about doing is I want to make a ladle, like a soup ladle, a deep spoon with a longer handle. Kind of have it in my mind what I want. Kind of hoping this will work. Thinking about cutting this off trimming it down and making the ladle out of that. It's already got a bit of a curve to it, which is probably a good thing. Problem is this wood is frozen, solid like me. <laughs> I did forget, I did start another project. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm gonna make a spatula as well. I did this the other day, just sitting outside and uh, cutting a piece of wood. Okay, we're back in the man cave here. I'm gonna work on my spatula. The things I gotta do is it's too thick. So I'm gonna make this a lot thinner, maybe coming down, uh, making it a little bit more thinner towards the end there, so you can scoop it up. You can see I've been working on the handle, um, just getting the basic shape that I'm looking for and going to round it off and things like that with sandpaper and smooth it all up and do some coal rosing on it. That's where I am now, working on this, just stropping my Mora here, just to work on this a little bit more and get it cleaned up and get that down. I'm just going to have to work at it and go down. It's not easy to do. The problem, I, I thought about using my rasp on it, but I had no good way of holding it in the vise that I can think of. Uh, that's not going to put too much pressure on here. If this doesn't work, I'm going to try the vise and just going to have to be really careful with it and not put any strain on the small pieces here. Otherwise, it's going to snap. That wouldn't be good. So let's see how this goes. Who wants the easy way to do things, right? <laughs> okay, here you can see I've uh, made it a lot thinner. It took a while, but here we are. Got to get it as close as I can with the knife so that I don't have to do too much sandpapering to get it to where I want it. A little bit sharper here. We're getting there. We're getting to a little bit sharper edge. And then, like I said, the handle. I plan to clean this up, make this round here and round it off. This will stay flat because... That's really where you're holding and you want that. You don't need a lot of leverage on, you know, flipping an egg or picking up some scrambled eggs or something like that. You don't need a lot of strength in the spoon. I just don't want it to break that easily. And maybe some patterns along the top here. What I'm aiming for. So that's where I am now. And I think I'm going to start trying the sandpaper and see where it gets me and see if it'll work. I'll start with like 80 grit, the heavy stuff to get uh, most of it cleaned up and then go down to a finer one just to clean up. You need it to be nice and smooth to do the coal rosing. So, so of course I have my sawdust catcher here. 
I've got to start filling this up. I have another project that I'm going to need it for. So I'm going to use a block because a block gives you a, when you want to do a flat surface like this, this certainly helps. So let's see. So I'm working on getting rid of these marks, which is all the saw marks. Then I think I can go fine. So uh, you can see I've been uh, cleaning it up. I'm working from this side all the way up. Um, it's, lock, it's looking a little better right now. And I'm just going to work up here with the, the heavy duty. And then once I have it reasonably smooth in that, then I will have a look at it. This piece here needs to get rounded off so it doesn't have that mark across it. And we'll, I'll just keep working around until I get it fairly round and where I want it. And then I will clean it up with the finer grit. Put some vegetable oil on and... Uh, Start doing some coal rosing. Mary is supervising again. Huh. Actually, she's about to take a nap is what she's going to do. So I've cleaned up most of it, got it smoothed off a little bit. But I still want to do more here. I think I need to do more carving here. And I noticed that these are uneven here, which are going to have to be smoothed off. But I want to get this area... Uh, carved up a little bit more to give it more definition. So you can see it there. I uh, did a little bit more work on this to get more definition out of it around here. And now I'm going to work on it again with sandpaper and get it more smoother and rounder. And like I said, go to a finer sandpaper and then we can... So I've uh, done all the sandpapering and everything. I think I've got it as smooth as I'm going to get it. And, uh, you know, I use the finer grain on the sandpaper. And uh, it's a lot cleaner, a lot smoother. And I've got my shapes going here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe it off with a damp cloth to get rid of all the sawdust. And then I'm going to put uh, vegetable oil on it. Uh, I am using olive oil. So I'll do that now. Show you the final result on that. Okay, so another lesson learned. When I wiped it with that damp cloth, the wood, and I don't know if you can see it, became furry. You see that up there? Now I'm going to let it dry and go over it again. Live and learn. So I'm putting the uh, olive oil on here. We'll see. I never used olive oil before. But I'm hoping, you know, it's vegetable oil, so... We'll see how that works. <laughs> does bring out the color though. See that? There's a natural color change between dark to the handle, which is light. I planned that. <laughs> there you can see it there. Just hoping it's strong enough. I think it is. This is fairly hard wood. And it's, uh, you know, the grain looks pretty long. It's got some interesting patterns on it. You see it there. You can see how long the grain is there. Nice piece of wood it turned out to be. 
I'm surprised. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. Let that uh, olive oil soak in while I figure out what patterns I'm going to put on it. I want to see how that looks. So I'm going to put coffee on it now and see how it came out. So there you can see it there. Now, apparently the wood is bringing in some of the coffee stains as well, but I don't think it's much of a problem. Seems to be okay. A little bit more down there. So now I want to rub it in. Um, you know, you've cut into the wood and split it, now you want to bend it back in to hold the coffee in. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in and see how that helps. Oh yeah, brings it out. And there you can see it there. Now I'm going to add more to it, uh, pattern it more, but that's the start of it. So I done, I finished it up. I, I decided once again, I made the mistake of trying to be too delicate and fine. I am a long way from where I need to be on the coal rosing. I need a lot more practice, but I just put some very basic straight pattern, straight line patterns on here. I wanted to keep it simple. I'm going to start a project where I'm going to make something that'll give me a lot of places on it to practice. But here you have the spoon here. And you can see my basic patterns on there. And on the back here. And you can see the spatula. Got it nice and uh, thin enough in the front to pick up things. Put the little string, blue one this time. <laughs> my spatula to go with the rest of my camp kitchen. The wooden one, that is. Hopefully, I'll get better at it. The carving, I think I'm, I'm getting better on. That coal rosing, though, I need a lot more practice. Just saying. And don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. I'll be back. Thanks for watching. And you will be safe out there especially with them sharp and shinies. You know, even like this guy. It's a sharp and shiny. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you again soon.